Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Good Vibe Show with me, Vivek Atre. And today I have one of my favorite cricketers, Mr. Carson Khavri. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. So nice pleasure, to have pleasure you. Pleasure being here. Thank you so you. much. Thank you. I love to see you in Chandigarh after 2011. Though, you know, we met in Mumbai. Mumbai. In between. But you came in 2011. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is wonderful to see you. Thank you. We are so happy to have you in Chandigarh. <laughs> And in fact, my interactions with you have given me a lot of joy already. And I'm sure when we talk, uh, people who are watching will also get some joy. Also. Sure, of course. <laughs> you know, yeah, like an open book, you know, you can Absolutely. ask, you know, whatever the questions I'm you I'm going have. to start with the setback which we were talking about. Yeah. So life is all, always full of ups and downs. You've also faced them. Yeah. So what was the latest setback that you had and how did you handle it? And what is that inner strength that you have? Right, you know, we have, you see, everybody has an ups and downs. You know, the life goes on, whether it's a good one or the bad one or the ugly one. But you know, it's a it's a way of life. So uh, personally, I had a heart attack, you know, a heavy one, in uh, about eight years ago right. in Shimoga. Mm -hmm. I was uh, with the under nineteen cricket team mm -hmm. of NCA. Mm -hmm. And we were playing a tournament there, and all of a sudden, you know, one night, I felt very uncomfortable in the middle of the night, uh, around, I think, maybe two o'clock in the morning. And uh, I, I thought, you know, it must be some muscle pull or something like that. But then I stretched myself, and uh, it was not going, and I tried to sleep, but still I was even more uncomfortable. And thank God, you know, I was with the cricket team, and our physio and the doctors, where they were just next door, you know, next uh, rooms. Right. So I called up, you know, the doctor, and the uh, doctor says, uh, we have to take you to the hospital straight away. So we went to the hospital, and ECG and everything was taken, and the uh, doctor detected that he already had a heart attack. Oh my and he said, next morning, 7 o'clock, it has to, the uh, surgery has to be done. Oh God. And uh, it was done, because then when the surgery was done, you know, they required in the doctors, they required somebody from the family to sign, to sign those papers and uh, my daughter and my wife, you know, they were informed and you know, from Bombay to Shimoga, you know, it's not that easy to reach there in Very two far. hours or yeah, three yeah, hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, a couple of hours it takes, you know, from Mumbai to Bangalore and from Bangalore to Shimoga by car, you know, it takes six, seven hours. Oh my God. So my daughter and wife said, you know, okay, doctor, you please carry on. We are on our way. Once we get there, we'll sign the paper, but don't, you know, wait delay. for us. Don't right. delay it. And uh, everything was okay. You are strong, fit and young once again. Right. So from that very dramatic note, let's go back into the past. And now let's start. Beginnings as a cricketer. How cricket you come to cricket? Well, <clears throat> cricket ka mahal to pehle se hi hamare family. Mein tha. Uh, my father was a very good uh, hockey player. And he was a good cricketer also. You know, like uh, Anil Kumble, you know, right arm, leg spinner, leg spinner okay. and quick one, you know. Quick one, <laughs> like, like Chandra or Kumble. Yeah. Yes, yes. And uh, my uncle was even a better cricketer. He played Ranji Trophy, you know, for Saurashtra. Right. In, uh, you know, 60s. Uh, so, cricket ka maal to chali raha tha ghar mein humare. To bachwan se hum bhi tennis ball, ye ball. Plastic okay. balls. You obviously had yeah. a talent, you were a left hander. <coughs> How did you realize that you were a left hander or were you naturally left handed? No, I was a natural uh, left hander. I mean, uh, not like Salim Durani. Salim Durani originally, originally. he was a right hander. Right hander. But uh, Unke Pitaji ne usko mar mar ke left hander banaya. Okay. Uska, uh, you know, right hand, wo baan ke rakte. Baan ke rakte. Wo rakte ke left hand se bowling karo. Okay. Or left hand se batting karo. He was made uh, left-hander. He was originally was never a left-hander, <laughs> but I was originally left-hander. Left yeah. But coming to before Test cricket, how did you start becoming an all-rounder, batting, fast bowling, and spin also? When did all three start? Well, <clears throat> actually, it started in school. I was never a fast bowler. Okay. So one of our very good important, you know, the school final, you know, uh, was supposed to take place like tomorrow and the previous day we started playing football and you know those days we never had uh, like you know shoes and all that playing football captain he was a fast bowler okay. and while playing football you know the previous day 
he got hurt, you know, his toe was like, you know, swollen. swollen. So he could not wear a cricket boots, you know, the next day in the final. So our coach, you know, Mr. Koti Kiran Acharya in Virani High School in Rajkot, he said, uh, Carson, you just, you know, take a new ball, you know, just run, you know, 10, 12, yard, 15 yards, and do, do three over, four over, dial on, ball ko pura na karo. Achha, pura na karo. So, I ran 10-15 km se bhaag ke na hai, चार ओवर में चार ओवर में चार विकेट ओ माय गॉड विद द न्यू बॉल यू नो एंड देन आई बोल्ड यू नो मे बी 8 और 10 ओवर्स आई पिक्ड अप सिक्स विकेट्स अल्टीमेटली आई यू नो आई एंडेड अप यू नो टेकिंग सिक्स विकेट्स माय गॉड एंड देन ऑन आवर कोच यू नो सजेस्टेड दैट नो यू शुड कंसंट्रेट विद द न्यू बॉल आल्सो माय गॉड एंड दिस इज हाउ इट स्टार्टेड या नो बट द पॉइंट इज दैट दिस नेचुरल टैलेंट वाज देयर विकेट सब बॉल पुराना करने के लिए इंडिया में भी पहले फास्ट बॉलर नहीं था तो सुनील गावस्कर या कोई भी बॉल पुराना करते थे नवाब साहब नवाब साहब पटौदी साहब उनकी कप्तानी में हमने हमारा डेब्यू किया कलकत्ता में बिल्कुल ईडन गार्डन ईडन गार्डन माय सेल्फ एंड अंशुमन गायकवाड़ यस तो मदन लाल वाज देयर इन विद मी तो हम लोग को नवाब साहब ने पहले से बोल दिया था कि ये नया बॉल लो सिर्फ दो ओवर मिलेगा और दो ओवर के बाद अगर तुमने विकेट भी निकाला तो भी दो ही मिलेगा दो ही ओवर मिलेगा बाद में हमारे जो स्पिनर है चंद्रा विशन बेदी प्रसन्ना वेंकट यू नो दे विल टेक केयर ऑफ द एंटायर डे प्रोसीडिंग ऑफ द प्ले सो वी नेवर गॉट इट नो मोर देन टू ओवर बट यू गॉट विकेट्स इन दैट बोथ द इनिंग्स वन इच वन इच या इवन मदन लाल गॉट वन ही आल्सो गॉट बट वी नेवर गॉट इट नो मोर देन टू टू ओवर्स बट एनीवे द एज लॉन्ग एज यू नो uh like vision or prasan or chandra they ran through the side and yeah. won the matches you know for india that is more important you know, by uh by all means yeah so we are in chandigarh you had a great partnership with kapil dev in one test match you took five wickets and he took five wickets all the whole, uh, 10 wickets taken by two bowlers yeah. and that two pace bowlers yeah. so how was it uh, in your later career you were confident you were senior to kapil dev and then that finally you got a partner who really was that good so how was it playing with him i think you know uh, it was a very healthy you know competition you know with uh, kapil uh, when he entered uh, the india team uh, we toured you know pakistan together unfortunately i played only one test match uh, in pakistan at karachi but the uh, it was a three test match series you know one was the first one was in faisalabad second one was in lahore and third one was in uh, karachi so kapil played all three but uh, i was uh, i was made uh, into into the reserve in you know, the first right. two test matches but uh, once we started you know playing like uh, once we returned uh, from pakistan and then pakistan came to india along with us only yeah. same flight it's the same flight yes. oh my god and then we had a five test match series yes. in india yeah. and those five test matches we played all of them Right. and then after that series we uh, had a series against the west indies mm. you know uh, where uh, alvin kalicharan was the captain the top stars were not available because you know they had yeah. gone to australia yeah, yeah. Uh, joining you know carry packer mm. so uh, kalicharan had a very new team you know yeah. like uh, all backers and uh, yeah, all these people are all you know for backers Gomes. then you know william yeah. and larry gomes yeah. and uh, a uh, greenwich there was one greenwich alvin, also, greenwich. alvin greenwich yes, yes. so they had a fairly new team yeah, yeah. and we uh, you know we did very well and we played all the test matches mm-hmm. in fact you know that particular series i picked up you know 27 wickets my god in uh, in a series my god you know against uh, against west indies five test matches that two on indian pitches indian pitches and, and then uh, that record was broken by kapil dev wow later wow. later uh, on some series he picked up you know 29 wickets in the series the fitting competitor kapil dev great yeah. great great player See, as soon as you know, we started playing together you know when he is bowling from one end i am bowling from another end when he takes one wicket you know मेरे मन में ये चलता था कि मैं मैं दो लू नहीं मैं दो लू मैं अगर दो लिया तो वो ये सोचता था कि मैं तीन लू सो दैट काइंड ऑफ कॉम्पिटिशन वॉज दैर इन वॉट डू यू थिंक वॉज योर स्ट्रेंथ एज अ बोलर आई मीन इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया वी नो दैट मेमोरेबल मैच वे यू टू टू क्रूशल विकेट्स इन कंजेक्टिव बॉल्स इंक्लूडिंग रेड चैपल बोल्ड सो वॉट वॉज योर स्ट्रेंथ दैट मेड यू प्रोड्यूस दीज डिलीवरीज वेल 
Uh, see, line and length is a very, very important. You know, accuracy is very important. It doesn't matter. At that time, we didn't know how to do out swing, how to do out swing. We just knew how to do it. 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 Bouncer was uh, lethal. Right. And uh, I picked up quite a few wickets in uh, you know, bowling a bouncer. Good pace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, if you, if you notice you know, one thing, you know, when I took you know, this Greg Chappell's wicket in Melbourne, mm-hmm. you know, Sunil ne previous day Yanko bowled the other day, as soon as he walked in, he walks in, Karu, first ball, he has to be like, just you know, pitch it short. And we must tell them, your nickname is Karu. Karu so that, that I must tell Karu everybody. Yeah, Karu <laughs> They are all great cricketing <laughs> friends. They call me Karu Bhai. I know, I came to know later, you are much senior to me. Yeah. But then that Sunil Gavaskar told you, Yes, yeah. sir. First ball, you know, pitch it, you know, short, bouncer. And I, I tried to bowl a bouncer, but you know that Melbourne particular wicket was all big cracks and mm. like this. Keeping low? This, you know, mm. I tried to bowl a bouncer, it must have pitched in one of those cracks. It never came up. And, uh, you know, if you see his you know, initial movement, his initial movement was here. Play bounce. And the uh, ball just kept uh, rolling and kept low. And his leg stump was exposed. Gone. First of all, yeah. <laughs> and I mean, that was a great uh, breakthrough. It was a very important play- yeah, breakthrough. See, we they, won that match. Yeah, they, they were on that particular day, you know, four day. There were three wicket down for 18 runs or something. And they were chasing 142 runs. And we got them out next day for 82. Yeah, it was a, one of the fantastic one of the finest of the victory. Melbourne, yeah. I know, that was fantastic. But how was it balancing your life between international cricket and family? In those years, was it very busy? Were you always out? And was it difficult to give time to the family? Well, uh, fortunately, you know, I had no children at that time. I mean, my children were born, you know, after, uh, after you know, 80, 80. Uh, 82, 83. Uh, by when you were so by senior. The, by the yeah. time yeah. I I was not in the team, you know, right. at that time. Right. So I was working somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> no, no, I'm just jokes. No, no, no problem. So, so, so then, uh, but madam was there and then you had to uh, travel and then coming back and then obviously <laughs> balancing life is important. See, boss, us what you know, ki by the rules of BCCI, wives were not allowed ah, on a tour. Right. So we toured, you know, like Pakistan, Australia, England, uh, Sri Lanka, various countries, New Zealand. Wives were not allowed unless, you know, if you want to take your wife, mm. but she can't stay in the same hotel. You have to put her uh, in some quite crazy, uh, <laughs> you know, relatives house or friends house <laughs> or, you know, book a room in another mm-hmm. hotel. So it was difficult. So I, my wife never traveled with me. Mm-hmm. My wife you know, only traveled when I was playing uh, as a professional in England, league cricket. Right. That's the time she used to travel. And uh, How did you a, handle the attention? You were a smart, handsome person. No, no, this no. was a 17. Yeah, you were. You are even now. No. So how did you handle all the attention? The fan attention was it difficult? Was it easy? Was it happy? Were you happy about it? No, I was very happy. Everybody, <laughs> everybody loves gets that happy emulation, yeah. because you know, I mean, you like by you know all of them. Yes, uh, the cricket lovers. Yeah, everybody likes it. Even I liked it very much. Very much. And uh, you have to deal with them. I mean, see if you know somebody comes in in a big group of uh, for a uh, for an autograph. You, Everybody loves you it. don't uh, disappoint them. <laughs> give it, might as well give it to them. Do you feel sometimes a regret that you were not born in the selfie era, or you know now there is more adulation? These people have become larger than life. But even now, I bet there are people who stop you in the corridor or at the airport and want a picture. It's very rare now because you know, it has been more than forty years. Yeah, but we we know you but, so well. Uh, so. I mean, sometimes <laughs> it happens. You feel good, you feel happy. <laughs> you feel happy. Yeah, so because that goodwill. That's how it goes. Yeah. Goodwill, goodwill. Yeah, it's a good Now, we are talking and there are people watching this who will learn from this conversation. What is that quality that you had apart from your skill that made you an international cricketer and so successful in your uh, well, sport? I think, you know, uh, hard work is number one. And one has to be uh, a dreamer and uh, to reach your target. 
you have to see the big good dreams yeah and uh, you have to be a disciplined guy you know to to achieve the those dreams to achieve those targets and uh, i was uh, like you know when i was when i started playing ranji trophy and dhruv trophy and all that you know then that is the time i started thinking ki these two levels are good mm. but you know the last level india. is even better yeah, yeah, yeah. you know playing for india is yeah, something yeah. very special yeah, yeah. and you you feel proud and you feel very honored you know like uh, i'm honored you know to be a part of indian team right from 74 till 82 uh, playing in two world cups with do it's not worth remembering those world cups you you were a great uh, but uh, <laughs> but you know whatever the time i've spent you know with the indian cricket team or even ranji trophy or even the club level i enjoyed cricket yeah i i i thoroughly enjoyed it this enjoyment who was your best friend or one or two friends with whom you had a great laugh or repo a con raha ka uh, Uh, G.R. Vishwanath is one of them. Wow. Sandeep Patel is another one. And G.R. Uh, Vishwanath sir has been on this show, by the way, viewers. And Gavri sir is also yeah. there now. Uh, <laughs> Delhi Bank sir. Yeah. Patel Bank sir. Yes. And G.R. Vishwanath. They are the very close. Got on with yeah, the batsman. Bharat Reddy. Bharat Reddy. Uh, the wicket keeper. Yeah, 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 yeah. uh, so we were a good uh, close. Uh, friends yeah. though i know we were friendly with everyone yeah yeah it's not that you know i was not friendly with sunil or yeah, yeah, yeah. prasanna or chandra we were friendly with everyone everybody yeah. but you know this group because the, we were almost the same age group right so we used to go out uh, have dinners and you know uh, doing have all uh, all kinds of all kind uh, of entertainment things, you know? <laughs> yeah all kind of things what was your most memorable tour let's say most memorable tour most memorable match of the field on the field which was well, i think uh, australia in uh, uh, 80 81 was uh, most of the memorable uske pehle bhi 77 also in australia only it was a very memorable series right. because you know we played five test matches yes, and yes. Uh, bob was, simpson yeah bob simpson mm-hmm. uh, was there as a captain and their top players uh, had joined you know the carry back okay, right Three so two. yeah No, it was a two all. A two all? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The two fifth all. one was drawn. And no. Then fifth one, uh, fifth one, they uh, Australia won. Ah. At, uh, so it was two all. Yeah, two yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was two all. The ah. fifth one, Australia won. Right. That was this was in seventy seven. Right. But eighty eighty one eighty two. Yeah. You know, uh, we squared the series in yeah. Melbourne. Melbourne, the match we talked yeah. about right now. Yeah. the the one we're talking about you know about great chapel and john dyson i got two consecutive wickets and two wickets. deliveries absolutely yeah. Yeah. batting ke bare mein bhi thoda sa you were a, quite a, a stroke player so were you uh, good at playing the fast bowlers were you was your timing very good i, I have watched some of your batting i, I, I was more comfortable uh, facing the spinners spinners <laughs> yes six I mean, it's not that uh, i uh, i never had any fear as such that you know thompson is bowling or bob willis is bowling mm-hmm. or imran khan is bowling mm-hmm. doesn't matter but you know uh, i was more comfortable facing the spinners right so you would bend lower down a batsman when it was required to score you know uh, quick runs it depends on what kind of a call you get from the uh, dressing room you play according to the situations so you know we played uh, almost like that only all the time yeah. Yeah. and how is life after cricket and what how's it going now i mean how have been the last well, couple of decades uh, till you know 2019 i was very much involved in in coaching yes you know in ranji trophy yes. i was uh, uh, mumbai ranji trophy coach you know for two years then with bengal you know two years then tripura you know two years then again one year with mumbai and then 2019 i was a coach uh, of a saurashtra team yes. which we won you know the ranji trophy ranji trophy and after that uh, then you know this corona came in mm-hmm. so 2000 2000 you know uh, 21 uh, i didn't do anything now uh, i have stopped you know taking any assignment unless you know the assignment is a small one like you know if i get there you know as a mentor or something for 10 days or 15 days or 2 3 okay. weeks yeah. is good yeah but not uh, i cannot you know just uh, stretch myself on 
uh, for the entire Ranji Trophy season because mm. it goes That's on too for much. five months. Yeah, yeah, it goes on you know, then you're traveling it's too much cricket now. and then by the time, I mean, like, you know, your team reaches uh, the final, you are playing about 9, 10, 11 games. That's uh, a lot of uh, effort. Yeah, so. How do you feel about Indian cricket today? I mean, there's so much cricket. Do you think there's too much T20 emphasis or is it okay? Is the balance okay? Plainly, I think uh, uh, the balance is quite okay. But, you know, 2020 is more, uh, people love it because it's a great, you know, entertainer and it's a uh, a great you know money making machine yeah so uh, and you know the results are there in in about three four hours mm. so and nowadays you know especially in india or in pakistan or bangladesh or you know sri lanka you know test cricket will never die mm. test cricket though you know we get a very less number of people you know for we love it at least <laughs> but we love it see test cricket in england you see Every stadium, every okay. match, it's joy to watch. Packed. Yeah, on every TV year. also, joy to watch. Yeah, you know, packed. It's the same. It's the same in Australia. Absolutely, they love it. You know, they love it. It's the same in New Zealand. Mm. But you know, unfortunately, you know, somewhere along the line, I think the Test cricket has taken a back seat in India, you know, particularly. Yeah. But uh, you know, the even uh, in the one day games, you know, fifty over games for them. For many cricketers, it's too long. Yeah, they can't bat that 50 overs. Yeah. We have the JP Athra tournament, yeah. they're out in 40 overs, yeah. 45 overs. But uh, oh, it's going to be a challenge. IPL is so popular. So popular. And uh, I mean, it's a quick, you know, result oriented uh, game, I mean, tournament. But so. what do you advise a young cricketer in this era, so much 2020? Say he's 16 years, 17 year old today. How should a batsman or bowler approach his career? I mean, should he first get into the basics right or should he go straight for T20? Well, personally, if you ask me, you know, for my opinion, I would definitely not advise any 14 or 16 years old boy to enter, you know, 2020. Absolutely. They should play a day's game. Yes. You know, either a nine, two day game or three day game. Right. Or four day game is, is fine there, fine with them because, you know, to start with, you know, for a cricketer, you know, they have to build a great, you know, temperament, yeah. you know, discipline, you know, technique. See, 2020 doesn't require any technique. It doesn't require. It doesn't require any technique at all. You know, you <laughs> just go and do the bang bang. All sense. And that's no, no, <laughs> there is there, your base. Your base has to be strong. You know, base has to so be solid. So you have to play days cricket. Yeah, days cricket. Long innings. Yeah. Like put your head down. Play a whole day, you know, 90 over game. Then, then you know, mm. you know how to go about. Yeah, yeah. Okay. even forward defense they don't know these days. They can't defend. Only, only that, this, that. Yeah, yeah. That, that's something. We have a glorious cricket group, and many of our friends will watch this episode. You are such an avid watcher of the game. We always look forward to your comments. How do you retain that love for cricket even today? Oh, I love it. I mean, I, I love, uh, you know, especially when India is playing. Yeah. Or, you know, even if uh, India is playing, I, I I don't miss anything. I but even miss. Ashes, you loved it, I huh? think. Ashes series. Oh, yes. I, loved it I, I watched everything. Everything. Every cricket. I mean, good cricket. Yeah, good cricket. You know, England versus Australia series, I, I watched every match on television, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, then, uh, if the, the series is happening in Australia or New Zealand, I watch every cricket. I mean, the match is happening in Dubai. Or you know, in Sharjah or wherever, <laughs> when it's uh, live on television and then something is very exciting, yeah, I'd love to watch it. Yes. So, in closing, if we just say that uh, the World Cup is about to come, what is the prospect that uh, you think India has, and uh, how important is this World Cup for the game? Well, <clears throat> World Cup is of course you know at home is very very important for uh, for the Indian cricket team, and. Uh, I think, you know, right now, Indian cricket team is in a really good hand. I mean, we have so much of competition, you know, Absolutely. which guys to pick, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for number three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah, too many. I mean, too many. We have a bench strength is as solid as rock, you know. I mean, uh, and uh, I hope uh, and I pray that at least, you know, we should make, you know, the last four first. Yes, yes, last, last four. Last four first, right. you know, get into the semifinals. And then it could be anybody's game. So according to me, you know, my you know, personal opinion, last four, it could be 
England, Australia, India and Pakistan. Could be Pakistan, could be New Zealand. Let's see. Well, I know, <laughs> this see, is my, this my, is your team, my four teams. <laughs> India, Pakistan, England, Australia. Could be, could be. Yeah, so you are a wise cricketer and you have had a great inning, sir. This is a short uh, conversation. We wish we could go on and on. Oh, yeah. But we wish you well. We wish you fitness, health, happiness and good vibes always. Thank you very much, Vivek. Thank you. Great to have you here. Lovely to meet you. And uh, <clears throat> it was a great pleasure uh, to, to have me on your show. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and you. See you soon again for another episode. What a delightful conversation with Mr. Karsan Gavri. Thank you very much. Thank you.